Manipur Human Rights Commission MHRC Acting Chairperson Kaidem Mani inspected Ziribam sub jail today. Kaidem Mani during the inspection visit expressed unhappiness over the dilapidated condition of the jail which faces shortage of amenities. Mani assured that he will appeal to the state government to take steps for improvement of the jail. All Thobal District United Clubs Organization at Duko and District Police Thobal jointly organized a motor rally on the theme A Healthy and Drugs-Free Future Today. Our correspondent reports, Thobal Superintendent of Police Dr. S. Ibomcha flagged off the rally from Lilong Bazaar. Tampasana Girls TG Higher Secondary School Imphal, in collaboration with Indian Red Cross Society Manipur State Branch, organized a two-day awareness program on COVID-19 at TG Higher Secondary School. The awareness program was conducted in view of school and college reopening from January 27th in Manipur almost after a year. As part of the ongoing War on Drugs campaign by the government, a combined team of Kangpopi District Police and government agencies conducted a massive poppy plant destruction drive yesterday at Harup Forest Range, covering several villages. The team destroyed poppy plants cultivated at about 60 acres of land worth Rs 3.6 crore, a report said. On the day 10 of the 22nd PNTM Tournament 2021, organized by Paumai Naga Sidomai Mi, the Naga Indigenous Wrestling Day was held today at Purul Akutpa Ground of Senapati District. Works RD and PR Minister TH Biswajit was present at the event. Youths of the village presented the minister with traditional Paumai clothes. COVID-19 cases reported in the last 24 hours saw a dip from the previous day, with India recording 11,666 infections, pushing the country's tally to 1 crore 7 lakhs 1,193, according to the Union Health Ministry update today. The country yesterday had reported 12,689 fresh coronavirus cases. Besides 153 cases of the highly contagious UK coronavirus strain have been detected in India so far, said Union Health Minister Harsh Vardhan. The death toll climbed to 1,53,847 after 123 fatalities were reported in the last 24 hours. The fatality rate now stands at 1.44%. Two persons, including a woman, were killed and one was injured after unidentified gunmen opened indiscriminate fire in a village in Korbi Anglong district of Assam, a media report said. The incident happened in Karnaidisa village near Thansiri last night when the villagers were celebrating Bushu Dima festival, Karbi Anglong superintendent of police Debajit Diori said. At least three railway staffers were injured after a bogey tank exploded at the railway workshop at New Bongaigao in Assam. Media reports said the incident took place when the railway workers were fixing the bogey tank at the workshop. In yet another incident of attack on medical practitioners in the region, a doctor of a government hospital in Tripura was allegedly assaulted by a group of people in Gomdi district. According to reports, Dr. Partho Talapatra, working in the Notun Bazar Rural Hospital in Gomti district, was allegedly assaulted by the attendants of a patient who died after being referred to the Gomti district hospital. India has extended the restrictions on flight from the United Kingdom to the country till February 14. The restrictions have been extended in view of the deteriorating COVID-19 crisis in the UK. Notably, UK has been severely hit by the new mutated strain of COVID-19, which is believed to spread 70% faster. Media reports said that the Union Civil Aviation Ministry has written to the British Airways and Virgin Atlantic Airlines, notifying them that restrictions on flights between India and the UK have been extended up to February 14. 
Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal today said that those guilty of causing violence in the national capital during Farmers' Republic Day tractor parade must be punished and said that the incident was unfortunate. However, he said that incident does not put an end to the protest against the agricultural laws enacted by the centre in September last year and urged for support to the farmers in a peaceful manner.